Hello my friends, what is good? What's great? I've had a beautiful day, a day off working um, and haven't really done much other than drink three coffees. It's a little buzzing. <laughs> I hope you guys have done at least one thing which is amazing, fun, great. We are up to a third of the way through Act 4, Scene 1 of The Merchant of Venice. Duke of Venice, you are welcome. Take your place. Are you acquainted with the difference that holds this present question in the court? Portia. I am informed thoroughly of the cause. Which is the merchant here and which the Jew? Duke of Venice. Antonio and old Shylock. Both stand forth. Portia. Is your name Shylock? Shylock. Shylock is my name. Portia. Of a strange nature is the suit you follow. Yet in such rule that the Venetian law cannot impugn you as you do proceed. You stand within his danger, do you not? Antonio. Aye, so he says. Portia. Do you confess the bond? Antonio. I do. Portia. Then must the Jew be merciful? Shylock. On what compulsion must I? Tell me that. Portia. The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed, it blesseth him that gives and him that takes. Tis mightiest in the mightiest. It becomes the throned monarch better than his crown. His scepter shows the force of temporal power, the attribute to awe and majesty, wherein doth sit the dread and fear of kings. But mercy is above this sceptered sway. It is enthroned in the hearts of kings. It is an attribute to God himself. And earthly power doth then show likest gods when mercy seasons justice. Therefore, Jew, though justice be thy plea, consider this, that in the course of justice, none of us should see salvation. We do pray for mercy. And that same prayer doth teach us all to render the deeds of mercy. I have spoken thus much to mitigate the justice of thy plea, which if thou follow, this strict court of Venice must needs give sentence against the merchant there. Shylock, my deeds upon my head, I crave the law, the penalty and forfeit of my bond. Portia, is he not able to discharge the money? Bassanio. Yes, here, I tender it for him in the court. Yea, thrice the sum. If that will not suffice, I will be bound to pay it ten times o'er on forfeit of my hands, my head, my heart. If this will not suffice, it must appear that malice bears down truth. And I beseech you, rest once the law to your authority to do a great right. Do a little wrong and curb this cruel devil of his will, Portia. It must not be. There is no power in Venice can alter a decree established. T'will be recorded for a precedent. And many an error by the same example will rush into the state. It cannot be. Shylock, a Daniel come to judgment. Yea, a Daniel, O oh wise young judge. How I do honour thee, Portia. I pray you, let me look upon the bond. Shylock, here it is, most reverend doctor, here it is. Portia, Shylock, there's thrice thy money offered thee. Shylock, an oath, an oath I have, an oath in heaven. Shall I lay perjury upon my soul? No, not for Venice. Portia, why, this bond is forfeit. And lawfully by this the Jew may claim a pound of flesh to be by him cut off nearest the merchant's heart. Be merciful. Take thrice thy money. Bid me tear the bond. Shylock, when it is paid according to the tenor, it doth appear you are a worthy judge. You know the law. Your exposition hath been most sound. I charge you by the law, whereof you are a well-deserving pillar. Proceed to judgment. By my soul, I swear there is no power in the tongue of man to alter me. I stay here on my bond, Antonio. Most heartily, I do beseech the court to give the judgment. Portia. Why then, thus it is. 
You must prepare your bosom for his knife. Shylock, oh noble judge! Oh excellent young man! Portia, for the intent and purpose of the law hath full relation to the penalty, which here appeareth due upon the bond. Shylock, tis very true! Oh wise and upright judge! How much more elder art thou than thy looks? Portia, therefore lay bare your bosom. Shylock, I his breast. So says the bond. Doth it not, noble judge? Nearest his heart. Those are the very words. Portia, it is so. Are there balance here to weigh the flesh? Shylock, I have them ready. Portia, have by some surgeon, Shylock, on your charge to stop his wounds lest he do bleed to death. Shylock, is it so nominated in the bond? Portia, it is not so expressed. But what of that? Twere good you do so much for charity. Shylock, I cannot find it. Tis not in the bond. Portia, you merchant, have you anything to say? Antonio, but little. I am armed and well prepared. Give me your hand, Bassanio. Fare you well. Grieve not that I am fallen to this for you. For here in fortune shows herself more kind than is her custom. It is still her use to let the wretched man outlive his wealth, to view with hollow eye and wrinkled brow an age of poverty, from which lingering penance of such a misery doth she cut me off. Commend me to your honourable wife. Tell her the process of Antonio's end. Say how I loved you. Speak me fair in death. And when the tale is told, bid her be judge, whether Bassanio had not once a love. Repent but you, that you shall lose your friend, and he repents not that he pays your debt. For if the dew do cut but deep enough, I'll pay it presently with all my heart. Bassanio, Antonio, I am married to a wife which is as dear to me as life itself. But life itself, my wife and all the world, are not with me esteemed above thy life. I would lose all. I sacrifice them all here to this devil to deliver you. Portia, your wife would give you little thanks for that if she were by to hear you make this offer. Gratiano, I have a wife whom I protest I love. I would she were in heaven, so she could entreat some power to change this currish Jew. Nerissa, tis well you offer it behind her back. The wish would make else an unquiet household. Shylock, aside, these be the Christian husbands. I have a daughter. Would any of the stock of Barabbas had been her husband rather than a Christian? We trifle time. I pray thee, pursue sentence. Portia. A pound of that same merchant's flesh is thine. The court awards it, and the law doth give it. Shylock, most rightful judge! Portia, and you must cut this flesh from off his breast. The law allows it, and the court awards it. Shylock, most learned judge! A sentence! Come, prepare. Well, well, well. What a scene, guys. We're still only two thirds of the way through. There is going to be next week's episode will be the last third. And it's not looking good for Antonio at this time, but it is very tense. What do you guys feel? I feel I genuinely feel tense reading this scene. It's it's so. Um, yeah, so many thoughts, so many feelings. If you liked the episode, I would love you to like this video. If you loved the episode, even better, I would love you to subscribe to Shakespeare with Izzy YouTube channel. That would be fantastic. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful week and I'll see you next week for the end of this scene.